All right, good evening and welcome from North Judson San Pierre High School, the home of the Lady Blue Jays. Steve Stricker here alongside Andy Stone. Hello, hello, and here we go. Got your lovely daughter, Samantha, on the camera for us here this evening. Whoop, whoop. Got a little bonus coverage coming your way tonight on RTC4.com and on Channel 4 in Rochester. It's going to be the 8 and 0 Class A or Class 2A number 6 North Judson Lady Blue Jays hosting the 9 and 0 Class A number 5 North White Lady Vikings. I uh, really appreciate uh, Scott Sager down there at RTC4. I called him up. I said, "Hey Scott, you know, Nothing going on Tuesday. What do you think about going over to North Judson and picking up a game over there and get a little bit out of our, our norm with uh, with Argus and everything? And he's like, yeah, heck yeah, let's do it. So, uh, you know, Indiana kid, I got three daughters of my own. I love girls basketball. And nothing better on a Tuesday night after a nice little uh, lake effect <laughs> snowstorm today than coming over here and covering two teams that are undefeated on the season. Uh, the Lady Vikings come into tonight's game, uh, like I said, with a 9-0 mark. Uh, they're coached by Brian Heimlich. He's 69-20 in his fourth season at North White. Not bad. <laughs> Andy, all he's done in three seasons at North White, 16 games, 22 games, 22 games, three sectional championships, First year, they go to the regional, they lose in the first round. Second year, they go to the regional, they knock off Michigan City Marquette. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And yes. then the Lady Dragons knock them off for the regional championship. Last year, they go back to the regional, they win the first game, and then Marquette beats them in the regional championship. you got to go back in North White Lady Vikings history to the 2000 season, add up all those wins that they had from 2000 until Coach Heimlich got here. To match, to, to the, match wow. the number of wins that he's had in three and a half years here with North White. Now, did he coach somewhere before? Yeah, he was, I believe, at West Central. West Central, so he got some experience. Yeah. Obviously, learned some do's and don'ts on the basketball court for yeah, coaching he's, the girls. He's won five sectionals overall, two with uh, West Central. I think it was West Central. Don't quote me on that. Okay. But uh, he's won three with North White. Has a good shot at winning his fourth here. Uh, he's done great things for the Lady Vikings. Uh, and then on the other side, you got Chris Neubauer, the head coach of North Judson. He's only 39 and 15 in three seasons with the Lady Jays. Uh, he's come in his first year. He won 11. Last year, the Lady Jays won 20. Yes. And uh, this year, they may win every game. I was going to say, they're, they're on pace to, uh, they to are, match that 20 win. Oh, yeah. They are smoking good. Uh, you know, they've got a huge uh, inside presence with Cox and um, uh, Schumacher. Schumacher. And then, of course, they've got the All-American uh, freshman, you know, super sensational freshman, as uh, Dickie V would say, yep. in uh, Lily Frazier. Uh, so they've got a, a young core of, you know, just very talented players. Uh, so this ought to be a, a great matchup here. Uh, North White, last time out, they beat Pioneer 55-28. Uh, North Judson, the last time they played, they beat Lacrosse 64-25. And uh, the series over the last 15 years, North Judson leads the uh, series 6-1. to one. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a great game here tonight from North Judson High School. About 15, I don't know, what was it, about 18 degrees out when we were coming yep, over. 18 Short. degrees. You know, a short little drive down State Road 10, about 20 minutes away. So I thought, what the heck, let's go uh, cover some games. I, I got some, you know, connections with travel ball with some of these players. My youngest daughter uh, has been playing with Indiana's best, uh, Travis Best down there in Lafayette. He's got a couple girls, actually one on both teams. Both teams, yes. Yeah. He's got uh, the senior for the Lady Vikings, Macy um, Heimlich. Uh, she's a, a great uh, player. She's signed to go play at Bethel next year. And then also uh, the sophomore or junior, Madeline Shoemaker, uh, plays down there for Indiana's Best as well. And, uh, you know, the, the talent pool uh, in northern Indiana basketball right now is, is pretty rich with uh, young uh, talent. And uh, it should be a great game here tonight. Well, we're looking to see some fast-paced play. 
good transitions. And then uh, one thing for sure, we're going to see a lot of rebound putbacks between both teams. Some good under the basket battles. And then I want to see some quick pull up threes. Um, we know that the uh, experience against the uh, Lady Jays, that they can put the three in the uh, bucket. Um, they did have three players with uh, 20 points against us. So, and you know, we're, we're a good team, but we had nothing to uh, handle their pace and their strength and uh, just their shooting quality. So we're going to see what uh, what the North White can do. Now they're undefeated, so they're obviously very, very strong also. And uh, I tell you what, Macy Heimlich, she is a built girl. She is. You can tell that, you know, she hits the weights and she works hard and does a lot of things. So she's going to be a very, very powerful, uh, you know, even at 5'7", she'll be a dribbler and this and that, but she's not going to not going to be scared of anyone that uh, she goes against tonight. Yeah, and I have uh, I have some stats for North White. Uh, North Judson doesn't have their stats on max preps, but, you know, the uh, Heimlich averaging 21.8 for the Lady Vikings, and uh, Sarah Rose, a junior, is at 11.1, and then they drop off a little bit. Uh, Valzone uh, at 5.6, and uh, Allen with 4.7. Uh, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't have the stats for North Judson, but Frazier, I think, is averaging over 20 as a freshman. Yeah. Uh, you've got Cox and also Shoemaker who are uh, doing very well. The thing is, like you said, Andy, 5'11", Lauren Cox, how many threes did she hit against the Lady Dragons? Three of them, I think. Yeah, three, at least three. And then uh, a Shoemaker, you know, at 6'1", Junior, I think she hit one. And then, of course, Frazier. Uh, the thing about her that I was so impressed with, you know, you've been hearing about her. She's been playing for, uh, you know, the zone in Plymouth. She's been playing a lot of different travel ball and junior high and all that stuff. You've been hearing about her. You just wonder, you know, how is that going to transition into high school ball? It's been seamless. Yeah, she I mean, really she, she knows how to find the open seams in the yeah. game. She just, hey, I'm a, I'm going to make a run here, get the passing channel, lay it in. She had a lot of buckets that went just right in from her movement off the ball, and that's so key at this level. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back here from North Judson High School with starting lineups here in just a moment. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's bonus coverage on RTC4.com as well as Channel 4 in Rochester. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus, right. and I mentioned farm. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first-time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. All right, welcome back. So we're going to get some starting lineups. First off, for the Lady Vikings, number 11, a 5'6 junior, 
Chandel Valdezon. Number 12, a 5'5 five five sophomore, Marissa Benitez. Bennett. Number 33, a 5'9 junior, Emma Provosal. Provansal. Boy, we should have checked these names, Andy. Provosal. Number 10, a 5'6 junior, Sarah Rose. And the senior, a 5'7, number 4, Macy Heimlich. Yep, number 12 is uh, Marisha Benitez. Benitez. Yes, Benitez. And for the Lady Jays from North Judson San Pierre High School, a 5'9 junior, number 12, Macy Reinbold. A 5'9 freshman, number 32, Lily Frazier. A 5'11 junior, number 50, Lauren Cox. 5'5 five five junior, number 20, Courtney Trusty. And a 6'1 junior, number 44, Madeline Schumacher. Lady J's coached by Chris Schumacher. Neubauer and the Lady Vikings crossed by Brian Heimlich. Well, Andy, should be a fun game here tonight. Uh, All right. Lady Jays and the Lady Vikings <laughs> coming to you live here at the home of the Lady Jays, North Judson San Pierre High School. Okay, so you got the stats as far as scoring and fouls and stuff. So I'm going to try to keep the stats on rebounds All right. and block shots. We'll see if, what, I, what I can do to help out. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be the 5'7", senior Macy Heimlich, and she's going to be jumping against the 5'11", uh, junior Lauren Cox. We're going to get going here. All right. Ball's in the air, and it's up again. The Lady Vikings yep. have the ball to start. Looks like a little man-to-man -man action for the Lady Jays. Brings it around. Drives, looks at the bucket, pulls back. Has two cut off on the great help side. Kicks it over. Here's a quick three, and it's smooth as silk. <laughs> Heimlich, Heimlich puts the uh, Lady Vikes up 3 nothing. Right, nice smooth shot. Frazier kicks it over. Schumacher, Frazier, Schumacher. Around the top of the key, kicks it over to this order. And uh, it looks like the Lady Jays are in no hurry to rush anything. It's a man-to-man -man type deal with the 2-3 zone, but they split out high to keep them from shooting the three. Schumacher kicks it, looks. And the coach changes plays. And here comes Frazier out to get the ball. And now they're just going to sit around the arch and say, that, hey, if you give it to me, I'm going to make it. Drop, Cook, looks, fakes, baseline's open, takes it up, and it's off the mark. And it's a rebound, number 10, for Rose for Lady Vikings. Down on the shoulder, kicks it around. Puts it in the top. Dribbles back around, and here's a steal by Frazier. And there's a foul. Yep, put her hand out there. They're going to get Rose on the foul. That'll be her first, team's first. Foul, Sarah Rose, her first, team's first. All right, so Frazier gets the first steal of the night. So you're doing turn Ryan turnovers? Bold. I'm trying to do, well, I'm not doing turnovers. I'm oh. just doing steals. I'm trying to keep stats because they talked about uh, – Frazier having a quadruple double. And I'm just trying to see if we can get something like that. All right, we're two Trusty. minutes in here. The Lady Vikings with three nothing lead over the Lady Jays. Frazier brings it around, drives, goes through. Oh, and Caesar in the middle, gets it down low. And it's thrown away and turnover by the Lady Jays. Turnover for each team now. Lady Vikes coming back across. They're going from left to right on your screen. Splits them. Nice bucket. Oh, uh -huh. she should have taken that up. It's turned off, and it's. Uh, she could have taken that up. She would have got that shot. Yeah, <laughs> Valdezone, a little unselfish there. Yep. She needed to just take that up and uh, probably would have got the easy bucket. 
<laughs> Coach is off a of bench giving her a thumbs up for shooting it. There's a shot up, and it's good. Number 10, Rose, Rose puts, puts in her it in. First bucket of the game. It's 5 nothing now for the Lady Vikes. Andy, it's a little different style right now to North Judson than we saw early in the game. They were high pressure, uh, yeah. three-quarter court trapping the Lady Dragons, and uh, right now they're kind of laying back in a zone. Well, to be honest, I don't remember Trusty wearing that knee brace in the first game when we played uh, the Lady Jays. There's a rebound, number four, with Heimwick with the rebound. Tipped, caught by the Lady Jays, or Vikings, and Heimwick takes a quick three, and it's short. And she knew she wasn't... <laughs> She's really, she's like, oh, I got to do better than that. So, Looked like she didn't quite get her yeah. feet set. Her left foot wasn't quite squared up to the bucket, and she just kind of, I mean, she had the perfect arch on it, just about a foot short. Yeah, kind of rushed the shot just a touch. Schumacher kicks it over. It's on the baseline. Frazier kicks it out. Schumacher. And I tell you what, North White's defense is really quality. They have got the help side down. Frazier's going to try to go through it all. Uh, and that's a foul. They're either going to get Rose for her second. Yeah. Nope, they're going to get number 11, 11. Valdezone. She reached for in. Her first. Yep, initial contact. The uh, Lady Jays are wearing their home white uniforms with blue trim, and the uh, Lady Vikings are wearing their blue with white trim. So a lot of blue on the court here yep. tonight. Quick there. shot, three, it's off the mark. Rebound, number 33. Provacol puts in the rebound. Here's Rose another quickly. shot, and that's a beautiful turn, and uh, the Lady Jays are probably not used to this. Rose yeah. has four now for the Lady Vikings. Nice drive that time, took it right to them. There's a three, and it's off the mark. Rebound, number four. Heimwick again with another rebound. She pushes it up, nice quick pass up. That was a smart play there by Benitez. Yep. Nothing there. She pulls it back out, resets the offense. Benitez gets it on the baseline, rotates around, kicks it to the top of the key. And I tell you what, North White is not intimidated by facing the Lady Jays at the moment. Kicks the baseline, and oh, and it, she just, she was wanting to take it baseline before she caught it, and it's another turnover. Got a sub, number 24. Out comes Trusty, yep. That is uh, Adeline Harper. She's a freshman. Number five, Olivia Allen, another freshman, is going to check in for North White. So a couple uh, new check-ins, both freshmen, one for North White and one for uh, North Judson. Frazier has it, kicks it over. They're rotating it. And there's the back door, Schumacher. And... Uh, well, that's going to be on Rose. That's yeah. going to be her second. So that's going to be uh, bad news for Coach Heimlich. Well, her body, her body came into it. It was a good catch uh, by Schumacher, but she lost control of her body and knocked the ball out of her arms. So that's going to uh, put Rose on the bench, and that's going to bring uh, number 33 Provencal back in for the Lady Vikings. All right. Lady Jays have not scored. We're three minutes left here in the first, first quarter, Andy. That's a great defensive stint out of the Lady Vikings. Ooh, I thought she could have stepped forward and had that one. <laughs> Kicks it over, fakes. Frazier sets up, takes the quick three, and it's off the mark. Rebound number 12. And <laughs> Reinbold gets it and puts it back in, and that's a nice rebound offensive and puts it in for the first points. For the Lady Jays. 2.56 left in the first quarter before North Judson gets on the board. Here's what we saw. High pressure and trapping defense. But they leave her wide open, and what a pass. Behind Wick and an assist. Holy cow, what a pass and a bucket. That was Woo. a good read there. That's the one thing, you know, you got to do if you see them down there. We got a full timeout on the floor. Lady uh, Vikings leading 9-2. to two. Got 2.39 left here in the first. We're going to take a break. Come back here from North Judson High School in just a moment. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. 
All it takes is a $50 opening deposit, there's no minimum balance requirement, and no service fees. For a limited time, you'll also receive a free gift just for opening a checking account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, welcome back here from North Judson High School. The North White Vikings lead with 2.39 left in the first, 9-2. to two. And uh, Andy, the uh, Lady uh, Jays just scored their first bucket here about 20 seconds ago. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I was figuring on a good, close, hard battle, and that's early on in the game, and I understand that. But right now, it has basically been all North White really they, they owning They have them. controlled the you tempo betcha. big time. They've slowed down the Lady Jays and are uh, keeping them at bay with this 2-3 zone right now. And rotates the ball to the baseline, and they try to get it. Schumacher forces it. They're going to get uh, oh. Heimlich on the foul. That you know, that last possession yeah. we were talking about, it. that was the first time we've seen the pressure from North Judson and uh, the Lady Vikings. They just kind of passed right through it and got an easy bucket inside. So um, the one thing that can hurt Coach Heimlich right here, uh, if he gets trouble. some girls in foul trouble, he does not have a very deep bench. Schumacher makes the first free throw. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that we saw with uh, the Lady Jays when they played the Lady Dragons. They have a lot of girls. Yep. They can come in and, and they'll, they'll put them in and they're not afraid to play a lot of minutes on their bench. Here's a full court press. Kicks it back over. Benitez goes. She's got the wrong lane. And there's Heimlich, and she's fouled. And that's by Frazier. Well, that's going to be her first, team's first. Foul number 32, Lillian Frazier. Her first. So I'm kind of surprised. They only have two officials tonight. It's typically three. Yeah. For a varsity a game. I really hadn't paid attention to that. Well, I got, you know, I'm a you basketball the, guy. Yeah, I got to keep got those the, details down. <laughs> you got the eyes. I know. You tell me every game. Kicks it over. And I'm shots up. Oh, she used the glass, but it was too much. And Frazier's breakaway. Here comes 1v3. Kicks it down. Schumacher puts it up for two. That's the uh, pace that the Lady Jays want to run, and uh, Frazier ran that three-on-one break with uh, perfection. So Frazier with the rebound and then the assist all in one match there. Kicks it over, and it's a steal. Number 12, Ryan Bold with the steal. Frazier, that's Puts the... Puts it in. That is what we saw all night long when they played the Lady Dragons. Uh, Frazier gets in there. She looked like she was under the bucket, Andy, but she still finds a way to get that ball up off yep. the rim. And uh, just like that, it's uh, the, uh, that's lady, what I was expecting. Yeah, More of a lady turn. Jays yep. are within one, and Frazier's going to put it in and tie the ball game up. So 9-0 lead for the Lady Vikings uh, has gone away, and it's tied at nine with a minute 28 left. Well, yeah, now you question why, unless he didn't think that he had to. Why coach uh, from uh, North or she Lady Jays didn't start from the get-go with the pressure, but I guess he just wanted to see what uh, what he had in store for, uh, if or what the uh, Lady Vikings had in store for him. So 30-second timeout here, Andy. What did we say? It was two nine to two. But when the when the Lady Jays got their first bucket, it was two fifty left 250, in the first. Yeah, two fifty left. So minute thirty. From nine to nothing to nine to nine. Yes. So just like that, the Lady uh, Blue Jays have uh, come back, tied this game up, and uh, I think uh, Coach Heimlich, you know, he's got a couple girls with some foul issues. Uh, we'll starter Sarah Rose with uh, two fouls. She's on the bench. So uh, actually, she's back in. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. he put her back in. Yeah. So uh, we'll see what the Lady Vikings can do. They have the ball here. Minute 22 left here in the first quarter. Heimlich kicks it over. Picks her dribble up, kicks it back in the corner. Oh, in the back, <laughs> she saw her. It was a little late, the back was open. Heimlich for three and it's short. Off the front edge and rebound goes to Frazier. She kicks it down. Frazier and a nice defensive effort there yep. by Heimlich and it goes off of Lily's knee. So a uh, turnover for the Lady uh, Jays. 
We're under a minute left here in the first. Well, the mismatch is on. Oh, and there's a turnover. And there's a pass to Schumacher, and what an assist and a great bucket again. Schumacher has uh, six points now for the Lady Jays, and they're up for the first time here tonight, 11 to 9. Oh, forces it. Steal by Frazier and the bucket. That is the thing that uh, North Judson will do. Uh, they convert uh, those turnovers into points. Yes, they do. And there's another one. It's loose again. Gets it and kicks it over to Frazier. 11 seconds. Caesar in the corner. Schumacher fakes. Frazier breaks down, kicks it around. Caddy corner. Fakes. Shot. Nothing. Frazier rebound and no good. Looks like uh, Frazier might have got fouled on that, yeah. but no call. So after one quarter here, it's a North Judson lead, 13 to 9. Andy, 13 unanswered for the Lady Jays in the last 250 of that quarter. Well, I tell you, it was, I'm, I'm not calling anyone out, but Lily Frazier was ice cold at the beginning of the game. And within the last two minutes, she's had two assists, two steals, three rebounds, and what, four points or two points? Uh, she's got five because she had the N1. And one. Uh, Schumacher has uh, six. Uh, Reimold with two, and then for the Lady Vikings, uh, Heimlich with that first three-pointer. Uh, Sarah Rose has four, and uh, Proven, Proven call with two. Uh, that pass in there to uh, Emma Proven call. Oh man, uh, that's what they've got. It's it's open on that back yeah. side right there, but the problem is the pressure, High pressure. and the size of North Judson's guards. Uh, you can't see that. Nope. It's impossible for anybody to see that pass. It's going to be from midcourt all the way down to the opposite low block. And there's just no way to make that pass with, uh, you know, you've got a 5'9 Frazier on you. And, of course, you've got 5'9 uh, Reinbold out there. I mean, that that's some big girls out there yep. putting the pressure on way high. So it's going to be North White's ball here to start the second. No, it's the Lady J's ball to start the second quarter. Yes. Well, I want to see a good old-fashioned barn burner, and we have it so far. 13 unanswered here for the Lady Jays to finish out that first quarter, and they got the ball to start the second. And Frazier for three, and it's short, but she doesn't, and she still battles. And, and she jump battles, ball. and it's a jump ball. It's going to go to North White on the alternate possession, but did you see that? I she mean, that waited to pause and then took off. And she followed her shot. And you yeah. don't see that out of a lot of older kids, and much you, less freshmen. The coach wasn't yelling at the official. He was yelling at Heimlich for not blocking her out. Right. And there's a uh, drive right into the corner by Rose, and she gets triple teamed and unfortunately goes off of North Judson. Well, Tim is in, the senior for North Judson. The Lady J, she's come in. Oh, and there's a turnover. And there's a steal from, and there's a quick shot, and it's off the mark. Rebound. Shot she, missed. Schumacher tried the left hand there. She didn't get much arch on that. Oh, my word. Here's a shot, and it's up and missed. Rebound. Oh, and they're going to say over the back, number 33. No, they're going to call that on North yep. Judson. Judson. Oh, shoved her back in. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to call that on number 24. Uh -huh. That's the uh, freshman Harper. That is only the second, second foul for North Judson. That's crazy. The pressure and intensity they play with and only caused uh, only have two fouls in a minute into the second quarter. That's amazing. Quick jumper, and it's just off the mark. Rebound goes back to number 12 again, Reinbold. I'm like uh, started off hot, and there's my Frazier. goodness, Frazier. Wow, she just drove that right yep. around the senior Heimlich. I was gonna say Heimlich started off hot, hit that first three, and uh, she's been O for since. And uh, oh, that's a good all. Oh, and she can't hold on to it. And there's a steal, and it goes back number 12. I'm tell you what, Reinbold's killing it. And there's a three by Schumacher. Schumacher has nine now here in the first. Uh, quarter and a quarter of the first half. Well, the uh, Lady Jays are on an 18-0 run. And then there's a steal by Frazier. Kicks it over in the corner, and Tim's going to pick it up. 
Frazier gets it back, kicks it over. Schumacher. Frazier has it, top of the key. And I think, oh, it was shots up and it's blocked. Heimlich got a piece Heimlich of that blocks one. it. Yeah. And I think all it took was a little bit of confidence out of the Lady Jays because at first they couldn't do anything against this team. And then North White's now taking control or uh, had control, and now it's been all Lady Jays. Nice fake Shoemaker. She's oh, going to pull up. Word. Little eight foot jumper right there. Schumacher. Frazier with that. She Lee has man. nine. Ooh. Schumacher has 11 points. Andy, you got to realize the Lady Jays didn't even score until 250 left to go in the first quarter. Now with 530 left in the half, they're up 20 to 9. 20 to 0 run. Whew. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more action here from North Judson High School. Thanks for tuning in to RTC4.com's coverage of Lady Jays basketball. We'll be right back. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yep. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Love you, honey. Here we go, Dougie Griffiths. All righty, welcome back. We got 5.30 left to go in the first half. Andy, the Lady Jays on a 20 to nothing run, uh, fueled by eight turnovers forced against the Lady Vikings. Uh, the thing is, off of those turnovers, uh, that last possession, well, no, they did, actually. The, I, don't, I think they've converted those into points every just, time. Just about every time. Yep. Maybe one time they haven't, but other than that, it's all been points Here's off of the little, high pressure. Uh, a little more pressure from the Lady Jays. They're trapping high. Then they're oh, trying there to get it. There it is, but they just jumped and tipped it out. It was open for a second. Yeah, Heimlich kept her eyes up. The other thing is, though, she saw it, but you got to try and get it through all those arms of those tall girls, and it just... It's well, yeah, they got a height advantage with uh, Schumacher and Cox, especially. It's there, and it's turnover, and it's going back towards. They tried to get in into Rose, and uh, she couldn't handle it, and it goes off of the freshman Allen out of bounds. All right. Frazier kicks it over. Well, I talked about it. I didn't remember seeing Trusty from the North Judson with that knee brace when we played them, and she's been brought out, and she's been out ever since, and I don't know if she's got a knee issue or what, but she played a lot against us. Well, I'm guessing it's not her elbow, Andy. Well, I know that, but <laughs> you don't know the extent. There's a rebound by Heimlich, missed shot. You're killing me, Smalls. Heimlich for a nice three. She has time, and it's just far. A nice rebound, and that tells you how a little bit out of tune she was almost at the back of the free throw line and didn't even realize her own teammate had got the rebound. Well, she's trying to get back because Judson just gets down the floor so fast. Nah, you still got to be aware. Keep yeah. your eye on the ball, though. Kicks it over. Foul. So that's going to be Frazier. Mm, number 24, I bet. 24? See? Okay, Harper, that's yeah, going to be her second. So, Harper's. And she's probably a, coming out. Number yeah, 20. 20 is going to come back in. Trusty. Trusty is coming back in. Yeah, so, hey, I want to give a quick shout-out to Travis Best. He's uh, just texted me. He's watching. He is. Yeah, Hi, watching Mr. down there in Lafayette. So. Coach Best. Yeah, really, uh, really appreciate what he's done with the kids there down there. It's a great program he's got. Well, as they say, they want to play and they want to play well. You got to do the work, and that's what the AAU and those type of travel programs do. They make them work, and they make them learn the skills, and that's where it's all at. Same as what a lot of players do for soccer, football, baseball, and other sports. Well, you see the uh, a lot of these girls that are out here on the floor. Of course, Heimlich we talked about, and uh, Shoemaker play for best, and yep. then uh, Frazier she plays you know a couple different places besides uh, the zone, and yep. You can see that uh, coming through in their high school seasons. Schumacher misses. Rebound number 10. Rose, I tell you what, 
four. That's a one bright spot for the Lady Vikings. Rose with a nice uh, runner oh, right she's there. Been, she's been putting in the points. She's got six now. The uh, first points for the Lady Vikings in oh, almost eight minutes of time. Uh, she's uh, she's she's got six points, but she's also got five rebounds. So she's doing well with that. Shots up, and it's off the mark. Cox got into yep. the lane that time, and the uh, left-hander goes off the uh, side of the iron. It's going to stay Lady Jays, though. That was a long, dry run for... Well, uh, 20 points for the Lady Jays since the last time Lady oh. Vikings scored. Missed. Schumacher's off with the eight-footer. Rebound with... That's, uh, that's an easy one. She's got to put those in. Heimbold kicks it over. Nice three. And it's off to Mark Long and a rebound. Offensive goes up and she's fouled. That's a heck of a Allen. rebound there by the 5'6 freshman Allen. She's going to get two shots at the line. They're going to get uh, Trusty with the foul. It's going to be her first, only the team's fourth. Trusty with two shots here. Let's see what the freshman can do from the free throw line. Well, as you know, North White is not out of this game. They had, <laughs> at the beginning, they had. North Judson down a straight nine points. Yep. So th this is in reach. This game is far from over. <laughs> so uh, first one by the freshman is good. She's got one more coming up here. Better get my golf voice. Little oh, there it is. A little awkward uh, It was. Shot, she just about looked like she almost dropped the ball, but she put it right in. She did. She did. It wasn't the uh, you know perfect form that <laughs> I like, but, uh, you know, hey, if it goes in, it goes in. Yep. There's no asterisks for beautiful. What a play. That's oh, such an easy set play. Cox gets her first yep. points of the night on a beautiful uh, cut there to the lane. I was going to just say there was a 4-0 uh, run by the Lady Vikings, but that gets quashed pretty quickly. I tell you what, Rose is here to play tonight. She's going at it. I mean, what goes up, takes a shot. Fader just misses. Rebound goes to Frazier again. And... Nothing, no call, and rebound. Heimwick gets another rebound. Nice, strong rebound in there by the guard. Rose is averaging 11.1 .1 a game, so uh, she's used to putting in some points. Another three on Oof, the way off the mark. There she is, number five. Gets, that's two straight offensive rebounds for Allen, and that's just been tremendous for her. That is big work there by a 5'6 freshman inside against the size of the Lady Jays. Trusty misses, another rebound for Heimwick. Kicks it up, oh, and it's stolen. And here's 1v3, and she kicks it right off, and that's a nice, beautiful assist from Frazier again. Reinbold, that's her fourth point of the night, and it's an 11-point lead now with a minute 30 left in the first half. Kicks it over, and it's tipped away, and Frazier is going to come away with oh. it. Kicks it over, turns it, gets it to her, and she misses it and puts it up again. Oh, my word. Schumacher <laughs> misses the easy one, oh, but uh, Cox was right there to get the rebound. And that play in the middle by uh, yeah. Frazier. Frazier. Spin move. She, it was like she knew. I mean, she almost throws it over her shoulder, knowing that there was an open player behind her. There's a steal. And kicks it up. A nice, unselfish play. Puts it in. There Schumacher puts it in. Schumacher hurt that assist from Frazier by missing the easy layup <laughs> earlier. <She's> a, That's all right. <laughs> she gave Schumacher it right has, over there. Schumacher has 13 of the 28 Lady Jays points. She's matched. There's a nice pass and assist from Allen, the freshman. To Westerhouse, another Man, freshman. I tell so you. there's some young players out here for the Lady Vikings doing some good work. Schumacher kicks it over. Frazier. There's a, there's a lot of freshmen yep. playing in, on both sides of the ball here tonight, Andy, and they're yeah. doing really good. Oh, good block. What a block. That's the first one of the night for Heimlich. Must be a Macy thing. Yeah, that was sweet. Oh, I did actually, it's her second. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, good good job with the stats. I'm working on it. I'm Last trying. Time. I got four stats, and that's too many to tell you the truth. Here's a quick pass and a shot. Here's a three, and it's just long. Boy, they could have used that one. It would have brought it to ten yep. into the half. And that's going to do, do it. Rebound, and they're off and running, and that's the end of the half. So your halftime score here from North Judson, Lady Jays 28 and the Lady Vikings 15. Uh, that was a 28-6 to six run from about 2.50 in the end of the first quarter to now, 28-6, to six, Lady Jays. So uh, we're going to take a break. 
and uh, we'll come back here. We'll total up our halftime stats and uh, come back with more action here from North Judson in just a moment here on RTC4.com and Channel 4 in Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first-time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is a $50 opening deposit, there's no minimum balance requirement, and no service fees. For a limited time, you'll also receive a free gift just for opening a checking account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we know that buying your first home can be an overwhelming process. The mortgage experts at First Federal Savings Bank will work with you from application to closing. At First Federal Savings Bank, we pay standard closing costs for our first-time home buyers. We offer free pre-approvals and local loan servicing throughout the life of your loan. Stop in and talk with one of our mortgage lenders and take the worry out of buying your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, welcome back. We're at the half here at North Judson High School. The halftime score, the Lady Jays lead the Lady Vikings 28 to 15. Steve Stricker here alongside Andy Stone. Well, Andy's not right alongside me right now, but uh, we got his uh, lovely daughter, Samantha, running the camera for us tonight. Sam can hear me, she can't talk back, but uh, she's doing a wonderful job. This is the first time we've had her on a camera and, uh, really doing a great job from what I've been watching. Uh, really impressed. So uh, Andy's going to be back here in just a minute. We're going to kind of tag team the stats. He's been helping out with the, the rebounds and a couple other stats for me. Uh, I've been doing the points and the turnovers. So as soon as he gets back here, we'll do our halftime stats. But I, I just wanted to give another big shout out to uh, Scott Sager at uh, RTC. Uh, giving us a chance. Uh, you know, he's uh, done wonderful things with... Uh, you know, our home school, Argus, and then also, uh, you know, the other schools that they cover with Caston and Tippy Valley and um, Rochester, of course. But he's never been afraid to kind of branch out and do a little, you know, some different things. And that's kind of what we did here tonight. We saw an opportunity for uh, covering a good girls basketball game here. Two undefeated teams uh, playing. Um, not a game that we would normally cover. Didn't have anything going on tonight. And Scott said, yeah, let's take it and let's do it. And uh, the athletic director from North Judson was very accommodating for us, gave us a good uh, Wi-Fi signal and everything. So hopefully everything's working out good at home, uh, watching the game and, you know, been able to do a lot of uh, neat things like that here, working with Scott. We got to do a couple of Pioneer football games, uh, their championship game in the uh, sectional, and then also got to cover the semi-state game. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of neat things here that we get to do uh, as part of the broadcast team for RTC. So, 
appreciate everything there with uh, RTC and everything they do for the uh, the youth in our area, and uh, you know, it just gives them that much exposure. Uh, people can watch. Uh, you know, I know there's people down in the uh, Lafayette area watching, uh, as well as I, I hope there's some people that over in uh, North White area maybe uh, tuning in and uh, seeing our product here maybe for the first time. So yeah, we had a lot of people come up and ask about it. On uh, what is that? A shout out or something, Harry? <laughs> All right. So I just got a note. We've got uh, J.R. Rowe and Paul Montgomery from. Salyerville, Kentucky. Salyerville, Kentucky. Watching live, and uh, hey, we appreciate it. We got some fans down in. Well, they didn't say they're fans, but they're watching. <laughs> well, <laughs> they just give us another half. We'll see if you're fans or not. But <laughs> hey, we appreciate it. It's it's always neat. You know, we've had Argus alums who've tuned in and, and been watching what from Germany a few uh, times. We've had from Germany and uh, Portugal, and then we have we have people all over the place. Sawyer County, Sawyerville, Kentucky. Okay, well, here, here's a little history from my family. Oh, no. My uh, grandmother was a there. Sawyer and from Sawyer County down there. And, uh, yeah, that's where the, the Sawyerville is named from, Sawyer's in Kentucky. It's rather humorous. It's a small world. But, oh, wow. hey, well, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Roe, Paul uh, Montgomery, hey, that's very nice to uh, hear that you guys are enjoying our broadcast. We're not sure. Who you're rooting for? We're not really rooting for any for anyone. We're from another neutral town in yeah. high school, so you know I hope we're doing a good job for you, and uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? So yeah, that's great. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, so let's do our stats here. We got about three minutes left uh, for North White. I tell you, Andy, I've got them down for 12 first half turnovers, and uh, we talked about that, Lady uh, Jays. I think turned every one of those into some points on the other end. Uh, the senior Heimlich had that first shot, and that's all she's got. She's got three points. Uh, I know she's got some rebounds. Yep, she went a little cold on the shooting, but she stepped up on a lot of the other stats. She had one assist, two two block shots, and then she had six rebounds, which is huge for uh, the North White Lady Vikings. So Olivia Allen, a uh, freshman for North White, had two points. Her big uh, contribution besides that is she had two offensive boards that were both turned into points, and she had one assist also while she was out there. Uh, junior Sarah Rose, uh, she has two fouls, but she's got six points in the first half. Yep, six points. She has five total rebounds on uh, the first half. Uh, I don't have anybody down until uh, Westerhouse. Do you have rebounds for uh, any of the girls in between there? Nope, uh, nope, sure don't. So down to uh, Kenzie Westerhouse, a 5'10 freshman. She had a bucket in the first half for the Lady uh, Vikings. Yeah, and then and uh, Provocal had one rebound. Provocal had a bucket, too, off of that nice go. pass on yep. that backside shot. So uh, 15 first half points here for North White. So uh, the Lady Jays, I only have them down for two first half turnovers. That is amazing. Yeah, well, Two in the first quarter and none in the second. Uh, Reinbold, the 5'9 junior, had four points. Okay, well, Reinbold also threw in two assists, four steals, which was a big part of that 12 turnovers, uh -huh. uh, and then two rebounds for uh, the Lady uh, Jays. Uh, Trusty, the junior, didn't have any points. Well, she, uh, she didn't have rebound and stuff. She did sit out most of that half, really, because, like I said, she does wear a knee brace, so... Weren't real uh, sure. And then down to Frazier, she had seven first half points. She uh, she kind of owned a lot of the stats where she had seven points, four assists, three steals that went along with the four that Reinbold had, and then five rebounds. I'm going to skip one here for a second. I'm going to go down to Cox, the junior, 5'11", yeah. had four points. Four points, one rebound. And then the leading scorer, uh, all leading all scorers with 13, Madeline Schumacher, two for two from the free throw line, one for one from three, and she had uh, four field goals for two yeah. with 13 points. 13 points, and she had two rebounds, which she didn't have to do much because she didn't really miss them. One assist and one steal. So, you know, between those three player, Reinbold, Frazier, and uh, Schumacher, which we talked about being core group, they were combined for 
eight of the turnovers by stealing the ball that out of the 12 that they had in the first half on North White. Okay, second half's getting set here. The Lady Jays will start with the ball. They're going to be moving from left to right on your screen in the second half. Schumacher has it, kicks it over. Frazier takes a quick three, and it's off the mark. Rebound, puts it up, and as she's fouled, number 50, Cox gets a big rebound on the offensive side. She takes gonna, it up, and she's shooting two. Provencal is going to get the foul, the 5'9 uh, junior. That'll be her first, team's first here of the second half. Cox at the line shooting two. And uh, off the back iron on the first. Her first uh, free throw attempts. I do like these score sheets that North yeah, Judson provides. Yeah, they're not uh, bad. Provides. She puts that one in. Totally different looking shot there. Well, I would hope so. That first one looked a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I didn't want yeah. We're being nice because yeah. we are nice guys. And, and there's a nice uh, move. Kicks, fakes. Almost a travel. Yep. She Heimlich just about drug over. that foot. And it, it, it's almost like Heimlich's getting rid of it so quick. And there's a quick steal. North White, Cox. and that's the length of Frazier right there. Yep. And that's going to be another foul on Rose, I think. That'll be her third. Yep. Third foul on Rose, second foul, and that's going to put Schumacher to the line, shooting two. Well, I think it was it, it was a good physical battle at the beginning, and then it's turned itself into a mental game. And... Uh, North White is just playing so intimidated now compared to how they started the game. Schumacher with the second one, and it rolls in. So she's three of four now from the free throw line. Press break. Lady Jays have doubled the Lady Vikings 30 to 15 with 7.18 left here in the third. And there's a steal. Good Kicks read. It over. And Schumacher throws it up, misses. Rebound to Heimlich, and she's fouled. Frazier's going to get called for the foul on the back of Heimlich. Trust that was a good read, read yeah, that oh, man. pass. That was a good read, wasn't it? Oh, man. Sometimes. So Frazier picks up her second. It's going to be the team's first here, the second half. Kicks it over. Rose is getting trapped, and... No, but I say she does. She falls down. She did foul. That was a good good call. Good play by Frazier. Another turnover here, the third already of the second half for the Lady Vikings. Schumacher has on Frazier. There's the play, and then they just say if it doesn't work, then they just throw it out for Schumacher to put the three in. Second one of the game here for Schumacher. That is her... 17th point of the game. Well, I tell you what, it's a great little play that they run. Heimlich has it, kicks the caddy corner. Rose. Good. Nope. And it's just a touch long rebound. At goes the perfect to angle. This yeah, she was left straight and right on. was perfect, just a little long. And uh, there's a little uh, nice drive by Frazier. That's what I'm talking about with that freshman. She is just so smooth. Yeah. And she, she doesn't uh, have to do much besides just read the lane, really. Rose. Oh, what a vision by Heimlich. Puts it right in. What an assist. Nice bucket. Benitez with her first points of the game. Nice assist from uh, Heimlich. Kicks it over. Frazier fakes. Here's the play. Kicks it out. Schumacher is going to say you're open and trusty with it's off the three. Rebound goes to Heimlich. I tell you what, Heimlich has got eight rebounds already. Kicks it over. Rose. Nice pass in the corner. North White rotating it around. Heimlich at the top of the key. Rose is going to drive a little jumper. And what a shot from Rose. Smooth. Nice pull up uh, eight footer there. Rose with eight points now. And it's a 35-19 game approaching five minutes to go here in the third. Kicks it down, fakes. And then if you don't cover it, she goes yeah. after it. Misses. Good rebound. Just Number a simple 30, little play. Yeah. Judson runs the same thing both sides there. A little pass to the uh, baseline. And and the, it, but it creates multiple options. Right. That's what's nice. It's almost like having a point guard on the baseline for them. Kind of read the defense. That yep. time nobody came up and they just uh, took the shot. 
Shot loose. Valdezone gets her shot blocked and uh, oh. quickly down the other way. Maddie Shoemaker with another bucket. Rebound. Yep, beautiful pass right to her. She's already got six second half points, 19 on the game. Matching the North White team. Trusty with a nice pass on that last Big one. Rebound. Frazier's reading it, gives it right over to Schumacher. Schumacher pulls it up. Trusty with the shot and the short. I don't rebound. know if you saw that rebound there by Frazier. That was a nice rebound. She got up in the air and pulled that thing down. Nice pass. Is that blocked by Schumacher? Or was it a pass? Okay, it was a It was shot. a pass in, yeah, and then she was trying to pass it out. Loose, kicked out, and a nice pass. Transition and assist. Schumacher. Trusty gets on the board. That's her first points of the game. It's a 20 point lead now for the Lady Jays. And fans are getting a little restless with the effort, or not the effort, just a result of. I don't think they've seen a team like North Judson yet. There's not a lot of them. <laughs> no. There, there honestly isn't. I mean, I, I've seen them play a couple times this year, and they're just good. Yeah. I mean, if they don't if they don't make it down uh, in a deep tournament run, I'll be very surprised. Very, very surprised. Almost a little disappointed yeah. with that much talent. Now, you get up into the upper know, echelons of 2A, there are some really good teams. There's oh, a great team down in uh, Converse there, Oak Hill. Yep. Uh, they made it all the way to the state championship game last year and lost uh, in that game, but they were very, very young. And then there's uh, 44 or 24. Let's see. 2-4. Yep. Told you. I got eyes, boys. Harper with her foul. Yeah, it's going to be her third, the second of the half. So, I mean, it's it's not a given, you know, that anything's wow. going to be. And that's another one on Harper. Yep. So, she picks up her fourth. So, she's going to take a break. Nice move. This Good is the strong. this is the luxury that uh, Coach – you know, Neubauer has. He, he's got players that he can throw in there. You get one in foul trouble. He's just going to throw another one in there that's just as good. Yep. Heimlich puts in her first point since the first shot of the game. And you're replacing a freshman with a junior who's probably just a touch better. So that's not a bad situation to be right. in as far as the coach. Heimlich two yep. for two. She's got five now. But she's averaging over 21 a game, Andy. Well, uh, she's been a little intimidated and just a little bit off after that first shot, but she's doing all the work. You can see it. It's just not going in tonight. Block shot. What a monster block. Block, but uh, Schumacher gets yep. the rebound. Former uh, Indiana best teammates right there going at it. Yep. Comes down, just about gets the steal. <laughs> <laughs> they thought there was a yeah, foul. Yeah, block. Uh, I'm guessing that sounds like it anyway. And then we had the rebound, and she got it out. Heimlich has it. Nice pull up uh, just off the mark just there. Missed. Kicks it forward, and Schumacher grabs it. Trusty. Frazier for three, and it's in. Trusty with the assist. Nice little play. Frazier with the three. Lily Frazier with five. She's got 12 now for the game. And I tell you what, Heimlich does not look. She's Long. just missed, but she's tired. Look at her. She's talking to the coach. I don't know if she's not feeling good or what. Foul. No charge. Oh, Tenales with the charge and takes out Rose. Rose draws the charge. All right, Frazier, that'll be her third foul. And I, I don't know if I would have called that a charge or not, but they did. And, yeah. uh, so Frazier's going to take a break. and. Yeah, Heimlich is winded. Uh, I don't think it's anything wrong with no. her. I just think that well, this pressure from North Judson, and uh, she's, sure. been, she's been working hard. She's got five points, but you said she has eight rebounds on eight the Eight rebounds, three block shots, two assists. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad night, even though the score may not, the score, you know, is not projecting it. Yeah. Uh, Rose, how many points she got? Rose has eight now. And uh, she come got, in. Yeah. She got she has six steals or six uh, rebounds and a one steal out of the whole half. So that's not doing too bad so far. 
Well, the big story of the night for the Lady Vikings is just their turnovers. You know, they had yeah. 12 in the first half, and they've already got four here in the third quarter. You know, 16 turnovers is, you know, for a whole game, not good. And uh, we still got a minute 56 left to go here in the third. And the thing with the uh, Lady Jays is they've converted those into points uh, a lot of the time. Yep. North White has the ball here out of the timeout. Minute 50 left here in the third. 42-21, the Lady Jays are in control. Heimlich kicks the ball over. They kick it back out. A nice little elbow shot, and it's in. Nice shot, number 12. Good job there yep. by Benitez. She uh, just had her first bucket here shortly, a uh, short time ago. She's got four now. And that's a good work out of the uh, North White. And if you don't block it, oh. It's off the bar, and it's going to be a, yes. So coach is over here nodding his head. Yeah, it was, but he was hoping for a call to go his way. Oh, oh, don't have your back to her. <laughs> Two of them do. Nobody picks up on it, and there's a three-pointer by Trusty. Oh, Trusty looked like she was on the line, but he gave well, her a three. He was standing right yeah. there, so he should uh, be able to see that angle. So she's got five now. She didn't score here until the second half. Well, when it starts to warm up, everybody warms up, I guess. Yeah, it's weird how that happens. Yep. Uh, as soon as one hits, then uh, all of a sudden everybody hits. Nice pass inside. Foul. Nice pass. We're going to get Schumacher. That's going to be her first foul of the game. Be the team's fifth, so they got uh, you know considerably more uh, fouls here in the second half than they got in the first. Well, you get a little bit more tired, and uh, and then the North White has stepped up their intensity. It's just this is too rough <laughs> for them to handle this pressure, I guess. Valdezone awesome. uh, puts in the free throw. That's her first point of the night. She has definitely has a different free throw form <laughs> than what we're typically used to watching. But first one was good, and second one is just off the mark. A rebound goes to Schumacher. Forty-five, twenty-four. We're under a minute left here in the third. Fakes takes a little jumper, and it's just off the mark. A rebound. She in ten she, yet? Yeah, she got nine. Yep. Heimlich's going to break ten tonight. There's probably not a question about it. Well, if she gets a few more points here, she can get herself a double-double. I know it's not going to be a win, probably, but no. uh, small consolation, I guess. Yeah. Fakes, dribbles around. 16 seconds. Kicks it low. Benitez was open, made the run. Heimuck has it. You know they're going to cover her. Crossover, dries up, shot, misses. Out of bounds, it's going to stay for North White. 2.6 left to go. Andy, when you do a uh, run, as you call it, yeah. in basketball, they call it a cut. It's a cut. It's a cut, yeah. Well, it just depends. We're not, we're not on grass. She wasn't cutting to the basket. Yes. She was running across the she face. She was still cutting. Nah. It doesn't, doesn't have to be to the basket. It's just a cut. Oh, there's a shot, and it's missed. I am like and shot at the buzzers off the mark. After three quarters, Lady Jays 45, and the Lady Vikings... 24. We're going to take a break. Come back here with fourth quarter action in just a moment. You're watching Lady Jays basketball on RTC4.com and Channel 4 in Rochester. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Back and set to go here for fourth quarter action from North Judson High School. Well, you can tell them, uh, since we got fans in other areas, you can tell them about the, the Twitter. What's our Twitter? Uh, you I haven't remember? used it for a while. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember your own Twitter. At well, Argus Voice, I think. At Argus Voice, yeah, yes, it is. But, uh, <laughs> I, 
I oh, actually uh, I actually deleted Facebook and Twitter from my phone this week. I'm trying to do a new anti-social social life. Anti-social uh, experiment. Yeah. Nobody North, paid attention to what you put on anyways. Yeah, I know. <laughs> North White starts with the ball here in the fourth quarter down 45-24. Rose has it. Kicks it back out to Benitez. I'm like, quick shot. And it's off the mark. Rebound, Schumacher. Good defense there by uh, Reardon for the Lady Jays on the freshman, uh, Allen. Schumacher. And here's a quick three out of Trusty, and it just misses. Ball's loose, and it's rebound, 14. Reardon had it with a rebound, misses. Rebound again. And it's long, up. long rebound by Reinbold, and she puts it back in. She's got six now on the game. We've got a 23-point lead here for the Lady Jays. Benitez kicks it over. Looks in the side. Heimlich has it. Back to Benitez, top of the key. Fakes. Benitez rotates it around. It's going to drive to the basket. A little shot, and it's off. Ball's loose, and that's a strong rebound out of Cox. How many boards does she have? She only has four, oh. but hers have been right time, right place. Cox is going to take a three. She wants rewarded each end, just misses. Rose with the rebound. Kicks it down to Benitez. Kicks it over. That's nice a good play. extra pass right there Ooh. in uh, Valdezone. Gets the bucket. She's got three on the night. Benitez with a beautiful assist. And that's that's what they need to do. Transition buckets. You saw her in the first half. She took an extra pass when she should have shot, but that time it was a beautiful extra pass. And uh, gets the assist. Got uh, three subs, 32, 22, and 24 coming Frazier. in for Judson. Uh, 22, Westerhouse back in. Timms is in, and then Frazier. And Harper. Harper, that's it. That's yep. the last one. Yep. They're rotating. Schumacher puts it in. A nice, easy bucket from Frazier. Assisted and just smooth and easy. Benitez has it. 19, uh, actually. Allen kicks it over. 21 for Schumacher. Andy, the thing that continues to uh, amaze Quantum. me with uh, North Judson, they've only gotten two turnovers. Wow. In the whole game. They're, they're that, that is amazing. And Schumacher, Schumacher puts again. in another one. She's having a huge game here tonight. Yeah. 24 points for the Lady Jays, almost matching the North White Lady Vikings entire team. Well, he put in uh, Harper, who's got four fouls, I guess. Not too concerned if she does foul out. Rebound. Nice Shot. And it's in. Good work. Rose gets a bucket. Allen with another rebound. She had those offensive rebounds first half, yeah. and she's continuing it here, and that's her third offensive rebound. Rose gets into double figures now for the Lady Vikings. Ten points. And they rotate. Kicks it over, Reinhold, over to Schumacher, who's wide open and says, give me another one. I oh, just misses. Loose rebound, Rose, and she loses it, unfortunately. Oh, a turnover for the Lady Jays. Only the third of the game. I think Coach Newbauer will be okay with that. Not now. No, it went off of, uh, oh. off of the <laughs> North White Vikings. It went off North White. Never yeah. mind. Scratch that. Just about stolen. Schumacher going to drive, kicks it out. Frazier for a little jump line and Frazier easy two jump. points. 16-foot jumper. <laughs> Schumacher with another assist. 7, 10, 12, 14 for uh, Frazier. Frazier. There's a steal from Frazier. Kicks it over. Misses. Rebound. Loose. And Rose is running herself ragged out there for the Lady Vikings. Wow. She put her back underneath her and undercut her, I guess is what he's going to think. Well, that's going to be Harper's fifth. And it is. 
So she's out. She's going to, uh, Coach Neubauer is going to bring in Reardon, the senior. Hymax in, and Benitez comes out for the Lady Vikings. 4.09 left to go, 54-28. Lady Jays in control. Well, I tell you what, it's an almost unfair justice when you see the amount of sweat, red faces, red arms from running and killing yourselves out there, and sometimes the stat sheets just don't give you, uh, give you what you've done out on the court. How kind, of a, kind of a similar situation uh, the other night when the Lady Dragons played against the uh, Morgan Township team. Yeah. At the end of the game, I mean, we were just dying, uh, you know, five or six deep. And uh, they just had more more horsepower than we did. Yeah. Hit out of bounds by Frazier. It's going to be the Lady Vikings ball still. Well, I got to give it to Rose. She's... <laughs> She's one of those that's looking way, way tired. Still out there working at it. Battles Frazier off to keep the ball. Gives a nice little dish, and the shot's in. Another assist out of Rose that just talked about it. Well, and Allen, the freshman, with a nice-looking yeah. little jumper right there. She's got four points for the Lady Vikings. Schumacher has it. A little jumper, and it's in. A nice assist again from Frazier. Tim gets on the board for the first time. 56 to 30, three minutes left here in the game. Kicks it over. Allen getting some confidence. I like the way she's playing. Sees her wide open. Heimlich drives in and it's blocked by Schumacher. And she's running the floor, getting down there in a hurry, going up against Rose and she puts the bucket in and one. Yep. It's gonna be Rose's fourth foul. Schumacher with the N1 opportunity. On 10, Sarah Rogers, her, her point. 26 points opportunity here for 27 for Schumacher. That's it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. She's been on fire tonight, and she does not make it. Rebound, Frazier, offensive rebound, lays it up for two, and it's missed. And she's going to get another one. I tell you what. Blocked by Heimlich. Heimlich gets a block, and that is her fourth block of the night. I tell wow. you what. She's the only one on the team that has one. Schumacher has two for the Lady Jays. What is it about five, seven senior guards named Macy and blocks? <laughs> there you go. And there she gets another block. Just absolutely stuffs her. Fakes. Frazier's going to get it back. Long three, and it's off the mark. Loose. And it's going to go the other way. I tell you what. Two, 11 left in the game. 58 30. Lady Jays up against North White. Lady Vikings. Allen kicks it over. Heimlich goes and gets the ball. Allen. Goes in the corner. She's going to dribble. I like the confidence she's playing with. This freshman is tough. Hi, Mike has it. Pulls back. Gets it in there again. Rose fakes it. Vows on. Takes a shot. And it's just off the mark. And she's going to be fouled from behind. Yep, number 12. You got it. Reinbold. That is her first foul. All right. And I got some subs. I got uh, number 30, Jordan Dusick, a freshman. Ryan Bold and Frazier coming out. I'd say that's for the rest of the game and tremendous numbers out of those two. And uh, number 42, she's not listed, so I didn't catch what they said her name was. You were. Sorry, Yammer. Yeah, I was. Nice shot. All right. So uh, Westerhouse, another freshman, puts the free throw in. That's her third point of the night. Second one is good. Nice looking shot. Yeah, that was a nice backspin. And there's five time out. Freshman. We got a timeout on the floor. He wanted to get a, another sub in. It must be another JV player yep. coming in. We got a full timeout. Minute 36 left to go here in the uh, game. 58 32 is your score. We're going to take a quick break and be back here from North Judson High School in just a moment. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. 
All it takes is a $50 opening deposit, there's no minimum balance requirement, and no service fees. For a limited time, you'll also receive a free gift just for opening a checking account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Team school team. Yep. All right. Welcome back here. Last minute, 36 of this one. Lady J's in control, 58 to 32. Uh, just want to give another quick shout out to uh, J.R. Rowe and Paul Montgomery watching from down in Salyerville, Kentucky, Andy's hometown. <laughs> Not apparently. hometown, Sal Salyer County. Yeah. Yeah. Families from down there originally, some of them on mom's so, side, uh, grandma's side. Appreciate everybody that's tuning in from uh, other counties and other uh, <laughs> other states. states. So we are statewide, baby. Scott, nation, look what we're doing for you. Nationwide. <laughs> All, All right. right, Lady Jays have some younger players in here to Chambers finish out the is game. number ten is Chambers, and uh, there's a nice bucket number twenty two by Tim. The senior Tim, that's her second bucket. She's got four now. Chambers gets the assist. The freshman, five six freshman. Misses. Rebounds. Shandell gets it. Puts it up. And there's a rebound and an assist out of Shandell Bowder's own. Westerhouse gets the bucket. That's her uh, sixth point here of the evening. Kicks it over. Chambers has it. Corner. Fakes. Down. They're running the same play, and they have it. Kicks it around and says, all right, we'll just switch it to the other side and see what we can get. Kicks it over. 43 seconds left in the game. Tim drives, kicks it down, kicks it out. Chambers for a quick shot, and it's in. <laughs> Two-pointer. Everybody's making it. And Reardon gets an assist on that. Beautiful pass right out and a shot. Oh, Allen's going to drive, and she's fouled. Great. I like that tenacity of Allen. Number five, she's tough. She's going to get fouled by Abby Tim, the senior. That'll be her first. So uh, Allen will be at the line shooting two. 5'6 freshman battle on the 5'6 senior there. So she's got uh, two for two so far from the line. Three, three for three. three. Yeah. With the shot put style shot. And that one's just a bit short. Rebound goes to Rose, puts it up for two. Oh, she needs one more to get a double-double. Uh, I don't think with nine seconds, unless they shoot it real quick and she can catch it. Who? Rose. She's got 12. How many She's rebounds? Won nine rebounds. Nine rebounds. That's going to do it. Your final score here from North Judson, the Lady Jays, 62. And the Lady Vikings, 37. So the Lady Jays will move to 9-0 and on the season. Uh, North White will move to 9-1 and on the season. We're going to total up the uh, scoring here and uh, come back with your uh, post-game show from North Judson High School in just a moment. Thank you all for uh, tuning in to tonight's game with the uh, Lady Jays and Lady Vikings. We'll be right back and uh, wrap things up here from North Judson. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly... This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. 
online at firstfederalbanking.com. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. All right, welcome back here. The post-game show here from North Judson High School. The Lady Jays win 62-37. Uh, Andy, the the turnovers, yep. uh, unbelievable. I only have, and this is very unofficial, I only have the Lady Jays for two first quarter I don't, turnovers. I don't see anything after that. Two first quarter turnovers. That is amazing. We've got 12 first half and six, so 18 overall for the Lady Vikings. That's not terrible. No. Uh, but I think every one of those was converted into at least two points. Yeah. 36 probably for that. Uh, Heimlich, the senior, uh, averaging 21 points a game for North White, uh, ends her night with five points, Andy. She made the first shot of the game. Uh, three-pointer and then she had two free throws in the third quarter and that was it yeah she did a lot of work she had uh, nine rebounds uh, five block shots and uh, two assists but unfortunately was not able to find the back of the uh, net as they say <laughs> um, bottom in basketball yeah, that's bottom just the like the back uh, of the run, net just like the run the run inside they didn't find the bottom of the net here, and uh, uh, she was struggling, but she put in a ton of work and did some of the other things very well, just was not on tonight. And uh, every once in a while, great players have an off night, and unfortunately, it was tonight. Uh, Olivia Allen, the freshman, had seven for the Lady Vikings. Uh, she was tremendous coming in. She, she was gaining confidence and really challenging the uh, players. And we said it at the end, she challenged the freshman uh, going against the senior. Uh, she had three offensive rebounds. All three of her rebounds were offensive, and she had one nice assist. Rose, very consistent. Six first half, six second half. She led the Lady Vikings with 12. Uh, one rebound away from a double-double. She had nine rebounds, one block shot, or one steal, I mean, and two assists. And then uh, Valdezone had three. Yep, with one rebound and one assist throughout the night. Benitez with four for uh, – she had two buckets there in the third quarter. Yep, and the second half points were big for him. Uh, she had one rebound and one assist. Uh, Westerhouse had uh, six. She was two for two from the free throw line in the fourth. Yeah, she didn't uh, She didn't have any of the other stats, as they say, but that was one of the people we were talking about where sometimes all the effort doesn't go on to the score sheets. And then uh, rounding out the uh, scoring Proven call with uh, two for the Lady Vikings. Two points, two rebounds, not a bad night for her. All right, for the uh, Lady Jays, Reinbold, the junior with six. Uh, she didn't have the star uh, shooting night uh, that she might have wanted, but she had four rebounds, uh, one block shot, four steals, and three assists on the night. So she had a well-rounded game. Trusty came back. She didn't score in the first half. Had five points there in the third quarter uh, for the Lady Jays. She had one rebound and two assists on the evening. Uh, Tim, the senior, had uh, four. Had, she had two buckets there in the fourth quarter. Yep. She didn't have uh, some of the others, but she did have her points. Uh, Cox, the junior, uh, had a huge game against the Lady Dragons, only with five points. She had four and then was one of two in the third quarter from the free throw line. Yeah, she had four rebounds. Uh, two of them were offensive, and she really, uh, you know, how they get that ball and move it to keep them off of it, didn't put it down where they could take it. She had one steal at a very crucial point early on in the first half to help break that 9-0 uh, spell, and then the one assist on the other end. The youngster uh, Chambers came in and got a bucket in the fourth quarter, one of the JV players. And then uh, the freshman, Frazier, uh, she had pretty consistent game, 7-7 seven and seven with 14 total. 14 points, 8 rebounds, 5 steals, 6 assists. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And uh, the leading scorer for uh, both squads was the junior, Madeline Schumacher. She had 26 
And she was consistent as well, 13-13. 26 points, 7 rebounds, 2 blocks, 1 steal, 3 assists on the night. So she was very, very tough. It was no doubt about it. She was the player of the evening. Great work and uh, just constant movement. And uh, really, uh, the Lady Vikings had no answer for her. Well, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us here from North Judson High School. I would not sleep on the Lady Vikings, Andy. They just no, ran no. into a team that a lot of teams are going to have these kind of nights against in North Judson. Uh, the Lady Jays are a tremendous squad. The uh, the great thing for Coach Neubauer is they're very young. They yes. got you know the core nucleus, the the two juniors, and then of course the freshman Frazier. So uh, they're going to be good for uh, some time to come here. Uh, it was great to get to come over here and call this. Uh, nothing else, like we said, going on on a Tuesday night. Appreciate you coming. I appreciate Sam coming in. Sam, you did a great job. Yeah, she's um, nice paying attention. Great <laughs> job on the camera, rookie cameraman, camera woman. Camera woman. So, uh, hey, we're going to be back uh, on the air on Thursday night. We'll be down at Peru High School, the Tigerina. The home of the Peru Lady Tigers, the Lady Dragons, are going to be uh, on the road again. Their road swing continues three of the, the third of four going before Christmas, but they've done uh, one and one so far. We'll see if they can pick up a win against the uh, Lady Tigers on uh, Thursday night. First time ever the uh, two teams have met, so that will be an interesting game down there. So uh, we'll see you back on the air on Thursday. Appreciate everybody who tuned in to tonight's contest. Lady Jays move on 9-0 and on the season. For Andy Stone and Samantha Stone, Steve Stricker saying good night from North Judson High School.